Today on the Rockabilly Arts, we are introducing you to our new CNC router. Stay tuned. So anybody who's been around the channel for any length of time knows that, you know, this is my wood shop. And uh, a few things have changed. Like when I turn the camera around, you'll notice that it's not nearly as much of a disaster as it usually is. The wood is nicely organized for a change. So despite all of my protestations of I'm a slob, I actually needed to organize wood. And part of that was because of this beautiful bastard. I have wanted a CNC router for a very long time. The things you can do with it are absolutely incredible. For instance, I made this the other day and it is crazy cool, right? This took about five and a half hours to run, but yeah, I was able to do 3D modeling in it and carving. But the real bread and butter of this machine is that you can do engraving and you can do carvings and like really, really cool stuff with wood. So. This is not a tutorial video. This is not a long form video about like how everything works. And you know, I've got two more videos planned uh, about this at least. One of them is why I bought this particular machine. And the other one is gonna be about why I chose which software I did. Maybe even a third one on the total cost of ownership of it, but we'll see. So without further ado, let me introduce you to my Shapoko Pro XL. All right. Why don't you get the bigger table? Well, I'm glad you asked. Definitely not me wearing sunglasses. Um, I bought the XL and not the XXL because of the width of my table. If I had bought the bigger one, it uh, would have extended over the edge. So there you go, world's fastest explanation. So let's get started. And remember folks, I'm a trained professional, so don't try this at home. So I screwed up and uh, it was, eh. I mean, not the most expensive mistake. I mean, I didn't break a tool or anything, but it, it's expensive enough in that, you know, wood is expensive right now. Uh, but I forgot to upload the right file. That's a long way to get there. Um, so I've created another, another board, same basic process, hit it with the torch, uh, then stained it. But this time I mixed some uh, ebony and some provincial to give it a little bit darker of a color, but without it looking just straight up black. So it's got a really pretty, you know, tone to it. But this should look really nice when it's cut out. So got to reset up the machine and start over, but this time with the right file. So, hmm.
admittedly, it's a little bit of a process. All right, so it looks pretty good. Like, I don't know if you can see that. Um, I don't know though. I don't know, like maybe maybe I should go a little, like just take it down a little bit deeper because you know, I feel like I'm missing a good bit of detail through here. Um, and the letters came out really good, but the, uh, yeah, the, the rest of it didn't necessarily look fantastic. So uh, it's cool. I mean, it's super cool. And I'm very happy about this. Uh, this is called onion skin, right? So like you, you put in the thickness of your material and uh, it didn't touch the table at all, which is kind of amazing. So um, that's about as perfect as you're gonna get is a uh, paper thin. I feel like there's a, a woeful lack of uh, instructions on how to do inlays. So I'm gonna probably do my first tutorial video. So wish me luck on that. Um, but that's it uh, until we meet again. Drive fast, take chances, safety third. Good night.